Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today I am in the world of Copperdale with the brand new High School Years expansion pack that just came out today. And I'm attempting to build an Art Deco inspired home. And it's supposed to be like a tiny house or on the small side. Technically, I think it is a under 100 tiles, but it's not that small because I really wanted to utilize the rounded walls and have enough space for everything and the way things place on curves is a little odd so it's a little bit on the bigger side of a tiny house but it's still technically a small home by the standards of the tiny living stuff pack so this is currently placed on one of the lots by the water but I actually end up moving it to the downtown area instead the like Prescott Square area because I thought it would look nicer connecting to a street than being in the middle of this area but I love this area. I'm probably going to build some sort of little home over here uh, sometime soon. I'm really excited to be building some more uh, things in the new world. I think it'll be a lot of fun and uh, I actually am currently building a high school for Copperdale. I started that over on Twitch last night. I had posted a video here letting y'all know that I was live and we got a good chunk of the exterior done and a general floor plan idea. Um, I'm hoping to continue that today over on Twitch and see how far we can get. So if you would like to join us uh, and see the process of building Copperdale High in real time, uh, I will be live later today on twitch.tv slash Miss Griffey. I will probably post it here on the community tab and over on Twitter as well as in my Discord server if you'd like to keep up to date on that and come join us. Of course, when that build is done, I'm going to turn it into a video as well. I have a feeling it's going to be a really long one because I've already spent a little over two hours on it and it's nowhere near done. So it's probably going to be like a four to six hour build or longer that I have to cut down, but I'm really excited about it. I'm having a blast. I think building a high school is such an interesting build to do since it wasn't something that really occurred to me in the past because we didn't have them. Uh, so it's definitely a refreshing concept. Anyway, the floor plan has come together here. Downstairs ends up being just one big room. And then upstairs, I have a three by one bathroom and sort of an open bedroom. So you just walk up the stairs and you're already in the bedroom. I thought that this worked nicely and I love the flooring that I used in this home. It's a base game one in a beautiful uh, sort of herringbone shape or pattern. <laughs> And then, of course, using the new tiles that we got with this pack as well. I really love that they have various like borders to them so you can make different designs with these. I thought that, that was really cool. At first, I was thinking we only needed this small section, but I end up extending it across this whole area. And I thought that worked so much better. We have a pretty spacious kitchen in this tiny home. So I will be expanding that here shortly. At first, I was like, maybe we'll put like a table over here. And then I was like, nah. We're just going to make it all counters and get all of our appliances. And I also mixed and matched uh, the upper cabinets. They are different than the countertops. So I'm using Parenthood countertops and then the cabinets are from Beast Game. Uh, so yeah, just working on <laughs> moving around the tiles now. And I decided to move everything out of the way and have the trim go all the way around this little area, which I think looks really nice. It's a little tedious and... I know I'm going to be doing this a lot in the high school when I work on it later today, so I am not quite prepared for how long that's going to take, but I'm very, very excited about it. Anyway, in the kitchen, I also thought that this little table from Beast Game, we got it in an update oh, maybe like a month or so ago now. It is basically perfect for this style and this space. It's really small. It comes in this like red swatch that I've been using a lot in this build. I do actually end up changing up the colors of the windows a little bit after the end of the speed build when I was taking screenshots because a couple of the things didn't match and I hadn't realized it. So uh, you will have seen that in the thumbnail and in the screenshots and all of that. So it's slightly different, but it's very much <laughs> the exact same style. Uh, and it was it was just really cool to play around with colors. And also in the kitchen here, I used this wallpaper from the decor to the max kit. I thought it would look nice as a backsplash in here and it had the right colors I was using. 
and I just felt like it fit really well for like a tile that would be in this sort of kitchen. And then I decided to also add a window in the kitchen and this is where I'm like, oh, these colors are clashing uh, in a bad way. <laughs> so I actually end up changing the color of that window to G just be plain white. Whereas the other windows that you change to a different color a little bit later on. But that's pretty much it for the kitchen. I feel like I get a couple more decorations later on potentially. But now I'm trying to figure out where we're going to put our sofa and everything for our little living space. And it just ends up being on a diagonal here in the curved portion of this downstairs. I think it ends up being so cozy and this rug fit perfectly here. I was really excited about that, scaling it up. It's so nice to have a fluffy circular rug in the game now. I think I'm going to be using that a lot. And then uh, just figuring out like a little poof in here and a dresser to go ahead and put a TV on. I was just trying to make it look lived in, but also have some fun colors, but hopefully not too over the top. And then trying to figure out curtains because they don't exactly work perfectly on rounded windows. So I used single tile ones and put a bunch of them so it looked as close to being on the windows as I possibly could. I also decided I wanted some leaning artwork here, but of course it's not actually leaning against the wall because the wall is curved. So I put a plant behind it to make it look like it was leaning on the plants and then added this beautiful lamp also from the decor to the max kit. I thought it would just really fit the style and got a little painting up on the wall as well, really leaning into like deep greens and like a maroon color in the living space. I think it's super cozy and I actually had enough space to put a desk over here as well. So just getting a laptop and a couple of decorations for the top of it. I believe we get some books and like a candle and stuff as well as some more paintings up above <laughs> the desk. I do change this. Yeah, there it is to a green color instead because I thought the inside was a little red heavy and I'm really happy with that decision. I think this desk is super cute. Uh, honestly, pretty much all of the furniture from this pack is adorable and I'm so excited to have it. <laughs> I also thought about adding a range hood in here, but it just looked really odd and was blocking things. So I didn't go with that in the end. But of course, upstairs, I am going to be using this bed, which is Art Deco inspired. And I had to use the green swatch. Do you see how cute that is with all the little hearts on it? And the color of it is just absolutely gorgeous as well. And then I thought about adding this fluffy rug from the, um, what's it called? Vintage Glamour pack. I did use some things from Vintage Glamour, but uh, I didn't use that rug or that wardrobe. I end up keeping the bedside table though, but there is a new wardrobe that came with high school years that I decided to use instead in this build. And then just getting a little mirror over on the wall and our new lamp as well. It's very, very green up here. <laughs> I actually end up adding some pink. Uh, inspired by the pink hearts that are on the bedspread to try and break up the green that's going on up here. And then it's a little bit lighter. Downstairs is like green and red and then upstairs is green and pink. I think it's super cozy. Uh, we should be painting the wall. Yes. So the wall behind the bed right now has a accent wall of like the same wallpaper I used in the kitchen downstairs. I do change it pink here shortly and we have a pink rug and it just looks so cute. I really enjoyed this space. It's a little bit out there and a little bit more colorful than things I might typically do, but I thought it was a nice change and I was happy to do it. <laughs> I'm so excited to have some more interesting builds. There's a bunch of new furniture to play around with for all sorts of different types of homes and apartments and builds and stuff. So uh, there should be a bunch more content on the channel soon. I am very excited. If you have any ideas, Make sure you comment those down below. I always look through the comments and take suggestions. So if there's any sort of builds you would like to see, please do let me know. I will definitely take note and uh, build whatever sounds fun at the moment. Anyway, I talked over the bathroom, but I did change the tile there to be like orange and green. And that ends up being more of the color scheme on the outside instead of red and green. It's like orange and green. Uh, I don't think that's in the footage though, but you will see it in the screenshots. But right now I'm just trying to figure out some landscaping. I used some plants from Shalive objects that I was seeing around the world to just make it so this lot didn't feel so empty because it is a pretty small home on this lot. So I uh, didn't use a lot of it, but there's plenty of space here if you wanted to renovate and add activities outside or whatever. <laughs> I ended up only doing landscaping and then having like a table and chairs and a barbecue and stuff out here. Nothing too exciting, not too many activities. I also tried to put this planter absolutely everywhere. Uh, I do end up using it in the end, 
It just took me a while to figure out where I wanted to put it and they ended up being over here around this little fence. And I should be grabbing the table and chairs now to place down so your sim can hang out outside with company and, you know, barbecue up some stuff and enjoy the weather of Copperdale. I don't actually know what the weather here is like because I haven't really played it with seasons yet. So that should be interesting. <laughs> I guess we will find out. I know the lighting in this world is very harsh, but other than that, I don't know much about the weather here. Anyway, that is pretty much it for this build. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click that bell to be notified of every single time I upload a new video and keep an eye out for a stream later today. Okay, bye! Oh.